On the moon itself, we would take notes of the position of the moon rocks, what side it was laying on. And when we bring it back to here on Earth, we put it in the same exact side that it was laying on on the moon to not affect the moon rock whatsoever. So since we retrieved this back in 1971, it has not changed the side it was laying on, just for the, the health of the moon rocks per se. Now, I can tell you that these are actual moon rocks because every time that we have a natural disaster like a hurricane or anything like that, the last hurricane that we came in that actually was here working, I saw the SWAT team with armored vehicles and fully machine guns, everything, come in here, retrieve the moon rocks and escort them back out. So they they probably get they get a lot of security with these moon rocks. Uh, so they're very special. We're not going in there. <laughs> We're not going in there. I can't let you touch these moon rocks. <laughs> you can touch that one. <laughs> um, this over here, the lunar soil in this display case, is what we call a test article 1A. Um, test article 1A is a healthy version of the lunar soil. The reason I put a huge emphasis on healthy is a lot of our astronauts now that walked on the moon are having a lot of breathing issues from breathing in the lunar soil. Um, and if you, the lunar soil actually, if you put it under a microscope, looks a lot like fiberglass. It's a lot of sharp pieces of glass in it. So it went into the astronaut's lungs and actually cut up the lungs. So with this one, if you actually put the lunar soil under this test article, under a microscope, it's all rounded edges. So it's a lot healthier. Um, this closest thing this represents is like a, a talcum powder or baby powder. It feels exactly the same. 